afternoon. I'm Ali Filatikia. And I'm Derek Barrow, filling in for Miranda Johnson. And this is Wolfpack News for Tuesday, September 27th, 2016. The Key Club is holding their crayon drive. Bring new or used crayons to J206 or the decorated containers by the department offices until Friday. The Key Club will be melting broken crayon bits to create fun, colorful crayon shapes and to donate to hospitalized children in order of Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. The District 308 Annual Food Drive runs, uh, runs until the end of the day today. We're trying to win that trophy back from OHS. Bring in any, bring in any non-perishable items to your third period class. The winning class will win a free breakfast. Nice. As a part of ACE Accelerate Career Through Education, OE is hosting a college prep boot camp on Saturday and March 18th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. The fee is $40 for a parent and a student. Sign up for this event at aceeducationcollege.com or stop by Student Services. ACE events include a Black Engineers History event, including Make and Take Engineer Stations in February. Homecoming week is next week. Here's a look at our Homecoming Spirit Days. After school tutoring on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 is now available. Here's a look at where tutoring meets. Tutoring is offered in math, English, writing, and science. Activity buses will provide transportation after tutoring. A bus pass must be obtained from the tutor in order to board the bus at 340. National Honor Society members are available during the lunch periods to tutor as well. Picture retakes for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are scheduled for tomorrow in the pack. Students who need retakes need to bring their picture package with them to return to Life Touch. Students who were absent for their August picture date will receive a pass to get their picture taken on Wednesday. This will be the last opportunity for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. East TV will be right back after this message. All juniors will be administered the PSAT Wednesday, October 19th. The test is a comprehensive assessment program that measures college and career readiness and provides students with the tools they need to start planning for the future. All juniors should have received study guides in their English classes and can visit student services for additional resources. College visits have begun. Sign up for a visit in the College and Career Center. Here's a look at who's going to be here. Talk, Teens Activating the Language of Kindness, is November 10th and November 16th. The event is a one-day in-school retreat that focuses on communication, respect, and diversity appreciation. Students participate in small and large group activities that focus on team building. Students also discuss topics that adolescents might experience. You must sign up and turn in a permission slip if you are interested in attending. Pick up an application in student services soon. Interested in being a talk leader? Go to Student Services for more information. And now it's time for t entertainment. Here's Jacob. The Triumph Music Honor Society is hosting their first monthly open mic tomorrow at 5.30 in the choir room with a $2 recommended donation. It's open for everyone and all styles of music, covers and originals. A PA system and equipment is provided, so just bring your instrument, voice, and talent. That's all for entertainment. Now, ba now back to the anchor desk. Thanks, Jacob. Mosaic is meeting on Thursday after school in F231. Lambs Among Wolves invites students for their See You at the Pole gathering at 6.45 a.m. around the flagpole outside tomorrow. They will also be meeting next Monday after school in G138, and we would, lo we would love to invite all those who are interested in joining to come. The National Hispanic College Fair is at East Aurora on Thursday, and transportation is provided. Please stop by the College and Career Center to sign up. Looking for some fun volunteer hours? 
Dick's Mini Donuts is looking for students to assist in making and selling mini donuts at the OE Bonfire on next Wednesday. Volunteers can sign up for one hour time slots or more in student services. The Scholastic Bowl is holding their first meeting of the year Thursday in room C-107 from 2.30 to 3.45. All students are welcome, even those in fall and winter sports or activities. No prior experience is necessary. See Mr. Brown or Mr. Carlisle if you have any questions. And now it's time for sports. Here's Kyle. This week is no orange week. We're blue and silver to show your school spirit. The Oswego varsity soccer team played Batavia Saturday and tied 1-1. Crosstown football tickets will be sold in the cafeteria during lunch periods through Thursday. Tickets are $4 to adults and $2 for students. Crosstown pink shirts are sold out, but standard pink out shirts and a few hoodies will be available during lunch on Wednesday. T-shirts are $10 and hoodies are $25. The vo Volley for Cure Girls volley volleyball t-shirts are available on sale until Friday. The 11th annual March is Tuesday, October 11th, at home against OEHS. OHS. Shirts are $10 with all proceeds going to the Jimmy V Foundation. The sport girls varsity volleyball team won against Joliet West last Thursday. The game featured Megan Delaney with three kills, Katie Ayers with 15 assists, and Morgan Boardwine with 12 digs. That's all for sports. Now, back to the anchor desk. That's today's edition of Wolfpack News. I'm Ali Filatikia. And I'm Derek Barrow, filling in for Miranda Johnson. Join us again tomorrow on East TV. Thanks for stopping by, Wolves, and have a great day.